Uh, g'day everyone and welcome to a special interview we've got uh, to kick off the 2021 AFL season and uh, it's a young gun from the Adelaide Crows, one of my favourite young stars, Harry Schoenberg. How are you going mate? Yeah, not too bad. Really good actually. So. Uh, very good. Now, uh, How are you going yourself? Yeah, it's Friday so uh, everyone's happy. <laughs> yeah, that's the way, that's the way. Mate, um, we've been really keen followers of you on the Crowcast since you joined uh, the club, and uh, I've got to say, I'm, I'm not going to put big uh, big expectations on you, but uh, uh, I do have them. <laughs> but if you don't mind, we might just um, we might just backtrack a little bit and uh, just uh, um, have a quick chat about how you made it into the uh, Crow squad. And you're a Mid North boy, is that right? Yeah, mid north boy. So I'm originally from the Clare Valley uh, yep. in the country. So I grew up there on a small farm with my family, and um, I made the transition into Adelaide. I went to uh, school in PAC, so um, came down here for year eleven and year twelve. And as a boarder, um, obviously a bit different living away from home and in the city life, but I uh, got used to it pretty quickly and um, played a bit of footy at Woodville West Torrens, and then obviously at the school itself, and then um, was obviously lucky enough to get drafted by the Crows, so um, it all worked out really well, and I'm enjoying my time so far. Yeah, now you kind of uh, downplayed that a bit, but you initially were overlooked for the uh, for the state squad in your draft year, weren't you? And you basically did what you do on the field and just didn't take no for an answer. Yeah, so um, there was a state selection squad at the start of the pre-season of my draft year, and um, I got left out of that squad and um, that's something I really wanted to make to sort of set up my year and I was a bit disappointed in myself and um, I sort of wasn't um, at the level where I wanted to be and um, to be honest, it was probably one of the best things for my footy career because I was able to sort of step back and have a look at what was going wrong and what wasn't what I wasn't doing right and um, I went to a few people and fixed that up and obviously it helped really well and um, yeah, and I was lucky enough to get picked back into the state squad when the championships came around and um, had a really good carnival, and then I was obviously lucky enough to get drafted. So, um, yeah, like I said, it was probably the best thing for my footy career. Yeah, did you get um, feedback from Brenton Phillips and the blokes involved in the squad at the time of your non-selection, or did you basically just have to grit your teeth and work it out yourself? Uh, there's a little bit of feedback, but there wasn't a whole lot. Um, I was lucky enough to have a manager in Michael Doherty at the time, so um, I worked real closely with him, and um, he got me a few contacts with um, Warwick Raymond, who also works at the Crows as a yep. gym and strength coach. So I went and saw him pretty much for the whole year and pretty much at his um, own local gym that he runs and uh, just did a lot of weights and um, some body work and some real fitness and stuff. So just stuff to sort of build up my game and build my confidence and, um, yeah, which really helped um, throughout the year. So, um, yeah, that was probably my main thing was working closely with him and my manager. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Awesome, and it must have helped. I mean, you ended up ranking second in uh, in clearances and disposals over the competition, I think, and uh, got an All Australian nod and uh, the MVP for the for the South Australian team. So, uh, I mean, that's a that's a you can't underrate uh, your effort to go from a non selection to that sort of uh, outcome. That's fantastic. Yeah, no, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, originally my main main thoughts coming into the championships was just to play so um obviously i just put my head down and um, tried to play the best footy i could for the team as well and um i was obviously lucky enough to get those awards and um it's a great honor to me and it's something i always remember so um really got some made some good friendships in that team and there's a lot of boys that sort of got drafted from there as well that i'm still keeping in touch with but um yeah so a great experience and something i always remember yeah, fantastic. Now, uh, so you got drafted, and uh, you got drafted to the Adelaide Crows at a fairly interesting time in the Crows' history, uh, a fair amount of change happening at the club. How have you found it um, in terms of just settling into the club and, and dealing with all the new staff that probably are also dealing with settling in as well? Yeah, um, obviously it was a bit different, but um, coming into the club, there's a lot of changes. Obviously, new head coach and new head of footy, but um, a, lot, a lot of players that sort of uh, left as well, but um, it, we all handled it really well. And um, something that I found when I first came to the club is that everyone was really welcoming. Um, so it was real easy for myself and all the other first years and the new players and coaches to sort of just be connected as one. And that's a big focus at the Crows is we want to be one big family. And 
we're all in and um, we're all having a good time. So um, especially um, last year, leading into this year now as well, it's got a whole lot better and we're all, as one, like I said, one big family and we're um, achieving to be great. So um, that's the main thing that I sort of um, came away from it, which is good. So hopefully we can get better at that as well. Yeah, fantastic. Now, uh, your debut season was pretty solid um, for a young lad uh, and you got thrown in the deep end a little bit because just basically because of how our squad looks and where we're sitting in the grand scheme of things. But uh, how, how did you find uh, the step up in pace into the AFL scene? Yeah, it was a lot quicker, I can tell you yeah. that for sure. But um, Yeah, um, I was really nervous, to be honest, for my first game. I'm not really a person who gets nervous before things, but that's probably my um, first thing where I really felt really nervous. But um, as soon as I sort of got into the club rooms, I felt really cool and just got into my usual schedule. And, um, yeah, my first game was amazing. It's something I always remember. And I was lucky enough to have my parents and my friends come to the game. Obviously, it was hard with COVID last year, but... Yeah. Um, I got because I debuted in sort of the back end of the season. I was lucky enough to allow my parents and friends to come, so um, a very special moment. Um, we obviously didn't get the win, but um, something I always remember. So um, yeah, great experience. Yeah, fantastic. And uh, you uh, applied yourself really well. I, I, there's a couple of times I remember just um, uh, observing a bit of composure in tight and. Uh, some nice candy being shown a couple of times. I think even a blind turn there at one stage. What do you reckon the strengths of your game are, mate? Yeah, just contested footy, um, coming up to the stoppage. Uh, like to try, like you said, try to win some clearances. So, like sort of rough and tough, getting in my head, getting low blow and getting ground balls. Sort of using my speed to burst out of packs and either dishing it off to other ball users. So, um, and also like going up forward and kicking a goal. So, I think that's my main two sort of strengths of my game and um that i'm keeping improving on a training so yeah. yeah and um like we've got a fair amount of new midfielders in during the year i don't know whether you ever played any footy with lukey peddler from pac but um him and sam berry and a few others have come in has matthew talked to you about um what he sees your role is going forward in the midfield um having little instances of um, in the midfield. And then um, I think I'll sort of play a little bit up half forward as well, come up to, to the stoppage. But, um, yeah, that's probably my main role like I did last year, yeah. um, which is good. And those two young boys in um, Sam Berry and Luke Pedler have come to the club and they've been training really well. So as a club and, and, and myself personally, we've, I've been really happy in the way they've conducted themselves and um, been training. So a um, lot to look forward to those two. Yeah, fantastic. Uh, look, it looks really promising. Uh, the internal trial footage last week was great, and those two young lads, Peddler in particular, just looks like he was made for AFL footy. So between the two of you and Sam and Chase coming on and a few others uh, coming in there, it looks really good in the midfield going forward. Is there a sense of confidence at the Crows now or is a, like a, a an air that they're, you're just starting a journey with this new squad? Yeah, definitely. I think that sort of started last year. Um, obviously, some of the results that happened, we weren't happy with. But I reckon to the back end of the season, I think from that Geelong game, um, we sort of started from there and we sort of started connecting as a group and playing some good footy. And obviously, we won three in a row and sort of um, finished the year off as a high. And sort of, and now we've started that in this preseason. So we started, we've all come back really fit and strong and um, we've... Um, continue that on over the last couple of weeks and obviously a few trial matches and now we're playing court tomorrow so um, yeah we're, we're really confident as a group and looking forward to I guess the future and what we can do so we're all really keen to get better and, and learn so um, it's a very exciting moment at the club at the moment and well, I think everyone could agree with me on that point so yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I, I, can, I can tell you from a Crow supporters point of view and certainly from our listeners that um, yeah, everyone's really optimistic and excited. There's a really good feel about the place. It's been refreshed, and uh, we're all backing you in, mate, so that's really good. Now, look, before we let you go, uh, just a couple of uh, stupid questions. Uh, is, it, is anyone at the club running a book um, about which round Shane McAdams going to take Mark of the Year this year? Writing a book? Run, running a book, um, like taking bets. Yeah, I'm not sure. He took a very good mark last week in the time, <laughs> yeah. so... We might have to have um, each round. Just, he'll probably take a hanger each round, I reckon, the way he's going. So, um, yeah. no, nah, he's been training really well and 
And obviously we saw last year what he can do in the air on someone's head. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a few more this year. So, um, no, he's a he's a big fan favourite. So, um, yeah. no, he's been playing, training really well. So well, look out, make, I say. Just make sure you're not the ladder, mate, because if he posterises yeah. you, that's, that never goes away. <laughs> exactly. I'm staying clear for him. I'll get, I'll get the crumbs if he drops it. That's it. Um, yeah. That's it. Now, um, you've got Phoebe as your midfield coach. Um, yeah. Is there, has there been any, like, Sloney or someone sort of mentoring, or how does that work, the the senior boys getting around the younger lads? Yeah, so um, last year I worked really close with Matty Crouch, so um, he was my mentor, so especially through that COVID break um, when we could only train in two in pairs, um, I trained with Matt yep. um, pretty much every day, so he was a, he was a big um, role model for me, and um, he taught me a lot of things, so... I think it's pretty similar with um, Bez and Peddler this year. That's sort of connected with Sloaney and um, even Ben Keys has been really good for the younger boys. So, um, yeah, so it, it, it's a good connection between um, youth and youth and the more of, of the older boys. So, um, no, they've been great with yeah. everything. So, and then obviously VB as well now coming into the club, um, obviously an ex-captain and um, he's a bit younger, a bit closer to our age. So he's been great. I've connected really well with VB and, um, yeah, he's been awesome, so I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do together this year. Yeah, fair enough. Now, if there was uh, any smoky of the new recruits that you reckon might uh, burst onto it, who do you reckon that might be this year? Apart from yourself, yeah, of course. Um, I reckon there's probably... I reckon Phil Fort would definitely, definitely get a chance. He's been training really well up forward. And then, obviously, like we mentioned before, Luke Luke Pedler and um, Sam Barry have been playing really well and training really well. So um, those two that could easily slip into the midfield and, and obviously Big Riley Fieldforth as well up forward. So um, those three will probably get that chance this year. But, um, yeah, you never know. So, um, yeah. no, looking forward to it. Big Riley's an exciting prospect. I bet you, you won't mind lacing him out a few times in the next five or ten years. Yeah, that'd be really nice, actually. So <laughs> goals for us, that'd be nice. Mate, look, we really appreciate your time. I know it's uh, the end of your week, and you've got a, a game to prepare for um, tomorrow against the uh, against the enemy. Even though it is a trial match, just to un- understand, as I'm sure you do, that uh, we still hate their guts. So make sure you beat them. <laughs> <laughs> a um, nice early win would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be good, mate. Yeah, that'd be good. Now, look, uh, honestly, from all of us at Crowcast, we we love your work so far. Um, we'll be watching you with great anticipation. Um, we're really excited um, for what the Crows can do over the next two to three years and uh, wish you all the best for the 2021 season. I'm really grateful for your time this afternoon, mate. No worries. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me and hope you have a good day. Thanks, Harry. You too, mate.